Oh, what's going on? All right, we're rolling. All right, 2013 Tri-Glide, beautiful bike. Uh, it is for sale here at our dealership, and you notice there are some extra things on it from your stock Tri-Glide. But you know, Kale, I'm kind of wondering, if I'm talking to somebody and they want to know, when's the right time to buy a trike? What, well, how old do I have to be? What's my reasoning for buying a Tri-Glide? Uh, there's a lot of different answers to that, I don't know. Um, some people think it's age. I'm not so sure that age has a lot to do with it. I think a lot of it has to do with our wives telling us we need to do this because they're maybe a little bit uh, afraid of you. I hate to say it, you know, coming up to a stop sign and, and dropping it with her on the back. You know, maybe your knees aren't what they used to be. Maybe your confidence is a little shook maybe from an accident or maybe you were a war vet or something like that where you, you know, where you're disabled or something there's there's plenty of reasons to get onto a tri-glide physical disabilities whether it has to do with a long-term all your life situation or maybe well we're at that age now or maybe you had a stroke I had a fellow the other day had a stroke and and even though he was uh, coming out from behind that quite well his wife simply didn't trust him anymore but you know we talk about the spouse the wife wanting the trike there's another aspect here we should discuss probably, and that's basically uh, a, a the, the, the wife or someone who's simply never ridden before that wants the comfort of a big touring bike but doesn't want to learn how to handle that two wheels, how to balance, um, or is physically to whether it's height issues or, or whatever the case may be, can't handle an 850, 900 pound touring bike. And here you've got the comfort of that touring bike and the stability of three wheels. So I think that's part of something that uh, a lot of folks are looking at as they decide this, this, uh, to get into a three-wheel vehicle as well. As you can see, the, the, this, this trike, 2013, is essentially the same as they've been since 2009 when Harley came with the Tri-Glide. Um, it does have an electric reverse, um, comes standard from the factory, cruise control. There are some things added to this one that uh, make it more... Uh, user friendly things like the tour pack rack that you can add luggage to so that if you are riding two up you get to a certain location you pull your gear off of there and take it into your motel room the room in these things is quite quite amazing actually it's about the same size in here as, as two tour packs or two uh, saddlebags on a standard motorcycle as you can see I can get my arm all the way in there that's got a lot of depth in that tour pack or that trunk rather, um, and with a CO it's quite water resistant. Another thing you see a lot of people add is this, this bumper. Uh, there's a reason for that is that it's backing up into a parking spot wherever it's a restaurant or motel. And if you get too far back and bang into that body, now you've got an expensive repair. So that $200, $250 bumper sure goes a long ways towards saving that. Uh, because if you are at that stage of life where it is hard to get on and off these things, you can't necessarily run back there just to check your clearance back there all the time. Vince, let's talk about the steering dampening system on a Harley-Davidson Tri-Glide. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, you, you, you get into these non-Harley-Davidson rigs, um, they're nice looking kits, but the thing that, that Harley-Davidson's always done and back in the old days, my old 1960 FL at the sidecar, they actually had a, a, a triple tree that you could slide out to get more of an angle to that front fork. And that's important for handling quality at any kind of speed. The Harley-Davidson Tri-Glide comes with an angled fork, so it's got more of a rake to it. Another big thing that you got to have, I get people ask about this uh, device here, they, they seem to think there's some sort of a steering assist. It's not. What it is, it's a hydraulic steering dampener. Uh, I'm not an engineer, or I can't tell you why, but I know in my old sidecar, when you drop the speed from 40 down to 30, you quite often got into a front end wobble. And in the old days, what you did, you simply crank the nut down and tighten up the pressure on your fork bearings. This damper here does that same thing in a much better, uh, more modern fashion. So that's important to keep that steering from wobbling. Another thing that you don't see in some of these kits, and if it does have it on there, it's an extra expense um, to add on to that rig. That again, with those kits, you don't always get that money back uh, if it comes to trade or selling. 
Let's talk a little bit about the reverse and how that's operated on this model. With the early version of Harry Davidson Triglide, what they did was you've got a separate electric motor um, that, that works reverse. It's not your st starter motor as in some of the metric bikes. It actually has a reverse on the starter motor itself. The Harry Davidson Triglide, what you do when the vehicle's in neutral, you will press that button there. This light will come on indicating the reverse is armed. Then you simply press your button backwards and the vehicle moves backwards. It's not a high speed reverse, nor should it be used for long term uh, backing up. But to get out of a bad parking place or if you're at a downhill parking spot, something like that, it works real good for that. Again, if you're at that situation in life where you, you are somewhat less able, less mobile to get around, to get off and push one of these things around can be challenging. They're not hard to move by themselves, as you can see, but if you've got knee issues, back issues, whatever the case may be, that's not as easy for, for some people as it is for some of the more able body. Sure. Tour pack again is the same tour pack that you see on the other standard uh, touring uh, models. So you've got a lot of extra room in there for, for uh, jackets, helmets, that sort of thing that um, that you need for riding experience. And this same tour pack would go from what, 2009 to 2013? 13, 13 they before they 14, did the body yeah, change yeah, on them. a lot of changes in 14, which we'll cover here in a little bit. Uh, but again, looking at the reasons to go to three wheels, it's it's very difficult to give any one simple reason or, or um, excuse, whatever the case may be, to push you into a tri -glide. It's a personal choice based on all the factors that um, that come into a person's life as we as we go through this uh, this amazing ride <laughs> that we all are on. This is 2011. Um, a few more accessories on this in terms of chrome uh, upgrades that you don't see on that one, but this is just a a small step of what can be done to Harry Davidson, and that's another um, you know, you start talking about the three wheels. There's a lot of other choices out there that have some valid points. Um, the kits, the the uh, the rigs that come out of Canada look a little different. There's nothing bad about them. They're just different. Um, well, the Harry Davidson, like in a typical two wheel Harry Davidson three wheeler, the sky's the limit in terms of customization. You can make this motorcycle into something that's a very unique statement of your um, personality. You know, if you got some time, Kale, we can go over and look at this brand new one that's been dressed up. All right, let's take a walk uh, over there. I want people to make sure they know that this is not the kind of a rig you'll get coming out of uh, Milwaukee, but it's things that can be done at the dealership to, uh, to dress these things up and make a personal statement. By the way, this is before Harley Davidson came with a tri glide. They used this sidecar like this, which did the same thing. That's what I grew up riding years ago as an older sidecar. Handles much the same way, but they don't make those anymore, so this is our choice. Oh, yeah. Ah, this bike is something else. It is chrome accessories from front to back. Wheels, chrome forks, additional LED tur turn signals, passing lamps, highway pegs. Um, lighted windshield trim, chrome vent cover, chrome switch housing. Turn that dash on once, will you, Vince? Ah, battery's taken out, ready for yeah. storage. Um, it has lighted, lighted footboard covers. It, you put an air cleaner upgrade. The floorboards matching to the to the grips custom wheels the, the, the bike is very very much a personalized bike even the, the sound systems upgraded as you can see the upgraded speakers the digital dash is absolutely awesome in this too it's just this is an example of how personalized you can make these rigs blacked out lights lenses you see all the chrome over here too just awesome look at that so just because you're on three wheels, there's no reason not to personalize these things into a bike that's that's very much the envy of your of your friends that 
are just stuck on two wheels and only wish they could have a three wheel rig. Yep, color match interfering. This one is done up nicely. You look at even the matching trim rings here, match the floorboards. Yeah, what a, what a bike, what a rig. You can be re proud riding a bike like this. Um, it shows all the pride of ownership that a two wheel rig will. Another version, chrome front end, not near as extreme. But if you look at trim here, it shows the blue through. I mean, it's the highway pegs. A few different examples of how you can set your uh, your triglide up. Your rack that holds your bag, so you've got to get your motel room as quickly on snap it into your room with you. Right on. So at the end of the day, why do you have a triglide? Who knows? There's a lot of reasons, but there's no reason to be afraid of it. It's relearning how you ride. That's true. It's not wheeling through the corners like you do on a two-wheel vehicle. You have to steer these things. Once you learn that, it's really it's really quite fun to ride. And if you got that situation in life, whether it's weak knees, back injuries, um, whatever the case may be, simply age, maybe that's got something to do with it. Um, there are so many reasons you simply can't say any one reason. But if you're at that point, there's no reason why you can't have that customized motorcycle. It gives you all the same um, pride of ownership as a two-wheel two rig does. And by the way, I've had a lot of people say, well, I, I get to that point, I'll just get a convertible. If you've been riding all your life like so many of us, your social life, everything you've done for the past 40 years is based around your motorcycle. Pulling up to the campsite in a convertible just doesn't seem to have the same effect. You haven't shared that ride with those people that day. You haven't been through that rainstorm back down the road. So it's um, this way a tri-glide, having one of these, you can still you can still experience that same ride quality that you do with on a two-wheel vehicle with your friends so that your social life continues based around your, your Harry Davidson motorcycle. After all, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, is that shared camaraderie and bond of the board, of the vehicle, of the bikes. Well, I'd say first thing you do before you go out and decide to make a purchase on one of these, go out, take a look at them, see if you can uh, take one for a ride, see if it's for you. It, it, there is a little learning curve to them. It's not just like riding a regular motorcycle. It's more, it's different. It's more like steering, kind of like a, right. a car yep. or something like that. Yeah, you're absolutely oh. right, Kale. Is is take one for out from the parking lot, experience it, um, and if you are at that point, then it may be time. But if you're not uncomfortable on on the steering of this thing, um, then certainly it's not for you. Don't spend your money on something that's not going to make you happy. It may take some time to get comfortable with it. We've got some customers that. Uh, we're not too thrilled about to start with, but as time goes on, they're beginning to see the benefits. They're getting more comfortable with it. So, um, it, in some cases, it does take some experience to, to really tr truly appreciate the benefits of the, of the Tri-Glide. All right, well, I think that wraps it up. If you have any questions, please call uh, Kaler Vince or, you know, respond to this video. I'm going to go ahead and open this up for... Uh, for your comments, I think. I, I think uh, people need to be heard on this and what yep. they're feeling about it. What call do you think, us, Vince? Call us with your thoughts, 507-373-5236. See if there's any reasons for you getting a tri-glide that we didn't cover here. Um, certainly, it's not an all-inclusive list, but these are just some of the common things and questions that we get from people. And I guess that was the intent of this video, is, was mostly to give some people some food for thought to answer some of them questions them, themselves. So they do come in, they have the benefit of some, of some knowledge.